It was my pleasure to write the catalog essay accompanying this exhibition, Some Fine Women, because of course as a woman and a writer, some of these are issues that you deal with all the time. Does it matter that the artist is a woman? Does it matter to whom? Should it matter? Does it inform the audience's perception of the work? Absolutely. Even a woman saying her work is not about being a woman is seen as a response to the question. You're sort of trapped inside of it. It's this kind of hall of mirrors where you don't get to choose whether you're a woman artist or not. And that has a kind of ironic parallel to some of the political situation in our country right now. And I know that wasn't the uh, intention of the exhibition. And I didn't spend a great deal of time in the essay discussing it, but it was really clear to me that all of the women participating and Sam uh, and Amanda and myself certainly were thinking about the show in that context. And so kind of balancing that with a formal consideration of the work, talking a little bit about each artist and how they fit into that was a kind of challenge for me, but one that I found really satisfying. a strategy for restructuring perceptions and realities. I think something that came up in the panel discussion that's really significant is truth and beauty. And I think that when you're talking about what's beautiful, an object can be beautiful because of how it is made, what materials it is made with. I think that beautiful is something that has a topicality to Las Vegas for a variety of reasons, but I think that perhaps it is beneficial for artists and lovers of art in Las Vegas to think about beauty in its many forms, but the most significant of which it being truth. <laughs> 